Good morning, Tucson. I'm Claire Graham. Jose is on assignment. Many of us are still feeling the impacts from Monday's monsoon, whether it's flooding, down trees in your yard, or for hundreds of families in the foothills, the fact that the power is still off. TEP says it should be restored tonight, but they're still working on it. Let's go now live to Brooke Chow joining us at Catalina Magnet High School with one resource that could be really critical in this heat. Hey, Brooke. Yeah, absolutely critical here at Catalina Magnet High School. They had a cooling relief center yesterday at 7 p.m. It closed shortly after overnight, but right now in terms of when it's going to open today, I've reached out to the Southern Arizona Red Cross on when we can expect those doors to open. I took a peek right behind me inside of the main gym and there's clothes, water, dog food. Humane Society's trailer is also here as well for any pet relief. If we want to take some video right now to some of the disasters that we saw on Monday, if you could see lots of damage and storm damage, power lines, trees. This is really impacting lots of people. If it didn't happen to you, I'm sure you know of at least someone or someone that knows someone that has been impacted by the late start to monsoon on Monday. Let's take you to the TEP outage map looking a lot better than it did yesterday. You could still see some isolated red spots, one of them significantly being that area. If you remember that we were at yesterday on North Campbell and Skyline with those power lines down as well. So check on your folks this morning, especially up in the foothills. This is a resource that they can go to a cooling center. Again, I'm working on the time on when this is going to open later today. But American Red Cross is on site, Humane Society. We know that there's two ice centers as well. I'm going to get those names for you right now. The way I can get them right. Ace Hardware on Sunrise and Long Cantata. Those open at 8 a.m. today. So in just a few hours, if you need some ice, go ahead and check out those places as well. But for now, that's what we know about if you need any relief efforts this Wednesday, like Claire mentioned earlier in the hour as well. TEP put out a statement yesterday morning saying that they hope all of the power outages are resolved by later tonight. So we'll continue to keep you updated on air and online. But for now, I'll go ahead and pass it back to you in the studio, Claire.